Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a keto grocery uh, stock up haul you guys for this week and we got a lot of groceries. So if you guys are aware, the kids and I are doing a June freezer challenge. We're doing a challenge to clean out our freezer and use most of our meats that we have. That does not include the normal everyday staple keto items that we would normally use. So I'm still shopping for my groceries. I'm not trying to see how much I can not spend or spend less this week. It's none of that. We're just trying to recycle some of our meats that have been in our freezer for a long while. With that being said, I am feeding what is technically four adults. Jackson eats like he's a grown person. So there's two kids and my mom is here now with us. And so that's four of us all together. I had a budget of $75. Then I got an extra $40, so that took me a little bit over $100, but I was over budget again today. And it's just because of some of the items that I purchased, but they'll last this week and some into next week. So I'll recoup from next week's budget with no problem. But let me share with you what I was able to get. So I stopped at two stores today. I shopped at Walmart, so everything this way is Walmart, and then I shopped at Aldi so I went to Aldi and got a few things let's start with Aldi I picked up some spinach so one of my subscribers was saying in order to not lose spinach just freeze it you know partial it out and freeze it in bags I thought that was a good idea I'm gonna do that 139 the jalapenos which we did lose last week but I'm hoping to make poppers this weekend 59 cent heavy whipping cream was 155 the zucchini was $1.59, and I'm going to do zucchini fries. We really did like those. Then the uh, sweet cream butter. I can't remember the price on the butter right off the top of my head. $2.85. $0.37 cent for the green beans and the diced tomatoes. Now, Harris Teeter is going to have green beans for $0.27 cent a can, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I did not want to wait until Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to go and get green beans because that would mean another shop trip. So I just picked up four cans. I got three cans of diced tomatoes, two things of strawberries at $1.99. The peaches I got for Jackson were $1.78. The boulder paper towels were $1.99. And then we got some of that lactose-free milk for $2.59. And over at Aldi, I spent a total of $24.02. So that was from Aldi. Then we went over to um Walmart and I took my mom to the grocery store today, but I could only get Aldi done because her oxygen tank ran out. We had a little small travel tank with us and it ran out. So I needed to get her back home. And then Jackson and I went to Walmart to get the rest of our groceries. So I picked up this sugar-free um, chocolate caramel. They were $1.87. We picked up these Reese cups, $1.97. This is a gift for a friend of ours. The Wasa crackers were $2.27, I believe. The kids asked for that. We picked up some Baker's chocolate because they don't have Lily's chocolate chips over at Walmart. This was $1.97. Cocoa powder, $1.87. Cheese Whiz was $2.27. These um, Whisk, the bacon barbecue flavor, are really, really good. They were like $2.98. We picked up two things of Max pork rinds. These are $2.98 a piece. We do like pork rinds. We picked up cream cheese for $1.33 for a two block. Then we got cheese. So quesadilla cheese, $1.88. Sharp cheddar and Havarti were $1.23. And then we got the two pound bag of the sharp cheddar for $4.88. We picked up some Johnsonville cheddar brats at $2.37. Sour cream, we got a big one because we like to make biscuits with this for $1.37. Then we picked up the sugar-free peach preserves. Can't remember the price. We got Six boiled eggs, $1.97. I still haven't had a chance to make try making boiled eggs again, so I just picked those up. The kids like those. Then we got these Max pork rinds. And so the reason we got this variety pack, you get original barbecue and salt and pepper. The reason we got that is we have a share in life group where it's like our small group, and they're meeting in our area tomorrow. And we don't always get to go to the group because it's normally far from our house. But tomorrow they're meeting in our area and it's BYOD, bring your own dinner. 
So we're doing the roast pork, pork roast for our Philly cheesesteak bowls. And I thought we could do walk-in nachos, walk-in Philly cheesesteak nachos using the pork rinds as nachos. And I saw, um, I think it was Shelby from the Queen's Cabinet do that in her meal plan this week. So I like that idea. Sounded great to me. So you get 10 single packs for $5.98. Then we picked up another thing of paper towels because we run short all the time. Picked up some veg, broccoli, and cauliflower with 98 cent a piece. Then we got a big thing of onions and pepper blend for 142. Picked up one head of lettuce, 128 for the walk-in tacos. I picked up blackberries at 179, 78, and then the blueberries were 247. Apples were 350. Picked up some potassium. And then non-food, I got some spray paint. I'm spraying a planter for my front porch. Jackson needed some body wash. And then we got some Halo Top for $3.88, two of those. Picked up some of the Black Cherry Seltzer. Picked up a big thing of patties. Then two things of um, flavors. I got the sours for the kids again at $3.48, and this was a dollar. And then some of the um, sparkling waters are $0.57, cent, and we got the almond milk for $1.80. So I spent at Walmart right at $112.40 was my total at Walmart. So I was at about $135.36. $136 for everything you see here. Way over budget by about $60. But I, I had extra $40 that I got today that I was just I was gonna use it for blow money. I just threw it in my grocery budget. And then um, $20 that I'm going to recoup out of next week's grocery budget. So no problem. Some of these things will last us more than this week, which is good. And we'll just be able to use it. So the one thing I'm trying to decide, and I picked up these because I thought the kids can do it like, um, I thought we could use these like graham crackers and do peanut butter and jelly on top. And then they could do the cheese whiz on top. I've got to find some snacks for my mom. She likes to snack. But I cannot allow her to just have, you know, anything. Because we're a keto household. And I believe it's helping her body as well to um, recover itself. So I've got to find some good keto-friendly snacks that she enjoys and she can eat. Because she's used to eating, you know, carb the carb-heavy stuff. So it's an adjustment for her. It's no problem. But anywho, I'm going to take you into our grocery haul next. Alrighty, you guys, so here's the meal plan um, for the 5th through the 11th. So I plan Wednesday through Tuesday of the next week because Wednesday is when my grocery uh, when my grocery stores roll their sales. So I always shop on Wednesday so I don't miss any deals. And sales run through Tuesday. So Easy Chili from the Southern Keto Cookbook is what we're having tonight for dinner. Tomorrow night, we're having walk-in Philly cheesesteak nachos using the pork rinds. I'll make myself a small note that we're going to use the pork rinds for that. Because tomorrow is um, a share group. Tomorrow's a share group night. So we're going to just take our own dinners. Bring your own dinner. Then uh, Friday, instead of doing pizza, we're going to do the zucchini fries again because we don't want the zucchini to go bad. So we're actually going to do zucchini fries and jalapeno poppers. That way we can use up both of those. And this will kind of be like, um, we'll do, we'll call this um, snacks and a movie night. We'll pick a movie that the kids and I want to see. And then for Saturday, we'll go ahead and follow up with a cheeseburger soup. Sunday, we'll do a whole roasted, a whole roasted chicken. Monday, we'll do the creamy beef and broccoli. That comes from the Southern Keto Cookbook. And then on Tuesday, we'll do the white chicken chili. And we'll use the chicken carcass from the whole chicken. And the one that I have in the freezer from the rotisserie chicken that we had last week. So that is going to be our meal plan for the next seven days. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. We hope that you enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan, and we will see you next time. Bye now.